I challenged ChatGPT to build an airplane in Lego. Hey guys, it's Brigogogo here and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we will see if ChatGPT is able to provide part lists and instructions in order to build a plane. The result is... Ah, you'll see. Let's ask ChatGPT to build the plane, but there will be one difficulty for it. I want ChatGPT to build me an Airbus L350 so I can compare it with my models. There is another difficulty. I want the model to be under 200 pieces. That's approximately the number of pieces for my L380 models. Your attention, please. After a few minutes, it seems that building a plane or an Airbus is possible. So let's build. First, we need the part list and there are only 45 pieces. Is ChatGPT also an efficient LEGO designer? <laughs> Considering the pieces, the model will be rectangular. No angles, no details and no specific pieces for the wings. But we should move on and start building. The 2x8 plates are quite simple to assemble but there are no precise instructions to do it. Then I think ChatGPT is not aware of illegal techniques. Moreover, I can see a way this works. I can't position the two 2x4 plates vertically without creating a problem at this scale. In order to continue the build, I decided to put them horizontally. We have this structure so far. Concerning the wings, the suggestion made by ChatGPT is, um, well, strange. These wings are too tiny, so I choose to put the 2x6 that are available in this part list. Another illegal technique, but logical this time, so, uh, you know, I tried it. Instead of putting the 2x3 plates on the tail, I attached them to the fuselage. We have a lot of pieces left and I don't know how they are supposed to be used. I don't know how we are supposed to have window details at this scale, but alright. Let's see. It doesn't work at all. I think we should ignore this tape. I don't have much more to say. This scale isn't appropriate. I suggest we put a, to an end this nightmare by completing step five. I took four one by four plates to complete the plane. And now let's have a look. This model is very simplistic. When I put my model next to it, we can clearly see the difference. Even for kids, the chat GPT model isn't accurate at all. A lot of details are missing and the shape of the plane isn't great. That's why I suggest you to subscribe to my channel in order to follow tutorials that will bring the plane of your dreams in your hands. Thank you for staying until the end. Bye.